Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A10C and we're looking at Data Link, the sharing of information between different human players flying the A10C in the same server. The full name is Saddle, S A D L. And what does that stand for? Situational Awareness Data Link. Roger, thank you, Sly. And I've got Sly helping me out today. First thing to note is that we have to have our JTRS turned on. This will be on from our cold start. Before we go any further, let's just have a look at the control, the HOTAS control lines that we're going to be using today. We're going to be using the DMS HOTAS, the HOTAS DMS button, so that's forward, aft, left and right. The TMS HOTAS, forward, down, aft, left and right. And the Cooley HOTAS, Cooley, up, down, left and right. And they're going to allow us to navigate the various functions. First thing we want to do, or we notice that our HUD is set as, as our story currently, we can tell because we have this star here, and we want it, the TAD set as the story, the sensor of interest. So we are going to press and hold coolly left until we get a box around. As you can see here, we've got a green box around the TAD. The TAD is now our sensor of interest. Now, before we go any further, we're going to have a quick look at our target and put myself in an autopilot hold. So our target is that cross there. There's going to be some targets in the middle of it. So we're going to set our path back to neutral on the horizon line. We're going to go to altitude hold only. Turn it on. Listen for the ding. And we've got altitude hold. Then we're going to circle around this now. Right, next with our TAD here and with our TAD as center of interest, we can zoom in and out with DMS forwards and aft so aft will allow us to zoom out like thus and forward allow us to zoom in and our point of interest regards saddle is this chap here this blue tadpole here with the two in it that's sly that's you isn't it sly hey firm yeah right so the next thing we're going to do is look at an, um, the net button so we're going to click that there and when we do that we see that we have a own id and a group id this is for my particular aircraft so i'm in group zero one and I have my own ID as 01. This is set from default in the mission editor, but we can change it if we like. And we've got Sly there. He is group ID 01, but he is own ID 02, so he's plane number 2. Out of interest, we can change it from here as well. If I were to press clear 03 and then click own ID, which is going to be that button there. My track IR is a bit funny. I am now 03, and uh, Sly is going to stay as 02. Two. So I'm just going to show, I forgot to show one of the buttons that we need to do, so these ones here, HOTAS, slew, horizontal and vertical we need for this, and if I press those axes, you can see I'm moving my cross about, so I'm going to soft hook him by moving my cross onto Sly there, and you can see I've now gathered, in, if I can keep it on him, I've now gathered information on him. You can see that's his, uh, his ID there is 0201, a combination of his own ID and group ID, and we've got information, heading information and whatnot. Now I want to um, do a hard hook. Is it TMS up long, Sly? So active hook, yeah. Um, put the green cursor on me and TMS up short. Up short. So I'm going to press TMS up quickly. And we've now got him hooked. Now, the reason we can tell that we've got him hooked as well is because we've got some guidance information to him. Up on the HUD, we can tell that he's 110 degrees to the left. Are you Angel 16, Sly? Hey, sir. Yeah, so that's him there. So it's telling us this box is basically over him, but it's telling us to navigate to the right, uh, and that will navigate us to him. And we've got his information now currently fixed here. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to show how to transmit the first bit of information between our two aircraft. And we're going to do that by sending messages to each other. Once we've done that, then we're going to start sending speeds and targeted information to each other. First thing is I'm going to send a message to Sly. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my scratch pad here. I'm going to clear. And I want to type in his TN number, which is 0201. So 0201. I'm going to down to my right default MFD. Oh. We need to ensure that we have the new button up here highlighted, which we do. And we're then going to click 2. And this is a bit awkward with my funny drag IR, so I'm going to click there. And you can see that Sly's TN number is now shown below the 2. Instead of using the uh, the UF key there, UFC here uh, to type the letter in, the letters in, we're going to send it down here because it's much easier because we've got full letters, as you can see. So I'm just going to type in I space can't find the Y, there it is, Sly ok, back to the MFD, click mod text, you can see that we've got high Sly written here we've also got line up and down here, we need to make sure this arrow is pointing at our line of text, so up there 
And then we just click send message, don't we, Sly? Hey fam. So I'm going to click send message, ping, let me know when that appears. Yeah, I have your message, uh, I'm going to acknowledge it, and go to my messages received. And uh, can you re reply with a quick word? Roger. Okay. Ah, right, so you sent me a message, Sly sent me a message, we know, because we've got this new message tag here. So we're going to acknowledge it to get rid of the tab, ping. And now we are going to receive the message by clicking on received and high cap. And I'm going to delete, make sure we've got the highlighter with the arrow. We're going to delete it now because we don't need it. And that's the end of messages. Let's go on to now sharing target information or SPI, sent center point of interest information. So the first thing is Sly is going to uh, create his own SPI and it's going to be on one of these little targets in the cross here. And then he's going to explain how he can send it to me in two methods. And then we're going to show one of the methods to get that SPI to me so go and create that speed when you're ready Sly. Hey, fun. Right can you explain there's two methods essentially of you sending the, the sending this getting this speed to me can you explain the rationale of the two please? Hey, fun. So if you are a FAC aircraft and you're controlling multiple groups of A10s uh, instead of broadcasting a speed across your entire net you can selectively send SPIs to a particular aircraft, much like we just sent uh, a message to an individual aircraft. To do that, you would uh, select a SPI yourself, go over to your TAD and make it SOI, and then hook uh, the aircraft you wish to send it to in the TAD. And then once you've done that, you'll, you will have a send button and you just click the send button or the OSB and it will send that speed to that aircraft. Roger. And then the other, and then can you outline the other way that we're going to use with the tab, please? Hey, firm. So the second method would be uh, within your own uh, group, so within your own net uh, group, and you would just do exactly the same. You'd select a uh, B, and then go over to your TAD. And instead of uh, making it soy. Instead of sending to a particular aircraft, you want to broadcast it. You can either uh, you can hold uh, left DMS long, and if you look in the top right hand corner, it will say speed off, and then it will say speed on. That's from the sender's point of view. Yes. Okay, so Sly is broadcasting a speed, and he's got his speed selected in the middle of that cross, like we said, with the the vehicles. So I'm going to look down here in my tad, and I can see. That, there it is it's that what I call a two-tiered wedding cake and you can see he's broadcasting it because it's got the line attaching his tad bolt to it so next we need to move our cursor our HOTAS cursor to it and again like with the 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 other aircraft I'm going to hook that now hard hook that with TMS up short and now I'm gonna create my own speed from it by TMS up hold long and you can see, if I move him out of the way now, you can see that I have now I have a three-tiered wedding cake over the top of Sly's two-tier wedding cake. So the three-tier wedding cake is my own speed. So I've now got my own sensor point of interest, or target point as I like to call it, in the middle of that cross, wherever it's gone, somewhere over here. Now you've told me you've hooked it, I'm going to stop broadcasting it. Okay, so I'm going to watch to see if your two-tier disappears. It may be a little bit laggy. And there it goes. So I've got my own speed and Sly's has disappeared fine okay. super now I'm gonna go over to my TGP on my right MFD I'm, uh, TGP is the targeting pod that I've got on my wing I'm gonna turn it on here I'm gonna switch it to air to ground mode and it's that button there okay I now need to make it soy tad is currently soy so we're gonna make it soy with Cooley switch right and hold that until this becomes soy it's now soy you know that because it no longer says not soy and it does have a green square around it and sorry, shall I remind me what I have to press to um, to slave this to my spi? Trying to have forward lock. Trying to, and that's yes, something else I forgot to show everyone. So it is. I have trying to have forward, and I have trying to have aft. But trying to have forward, we want. So I'm going to press and hold. Trying to have forward. Stand by. And what that's done is that slaved the positioning of my TGP targeting pod to my spi. That I've got that I had selected that was sent through from Sly. So I know that that seemed a lot of uh, mucking around and stuff, and it was because we haven't done this in a while. But what he's done is Sly selected a target, he's broadcast it, I've picked it up, I've created my own point of interest on top of it, 
and then I've slaved my targeting bot to it and then I can go and in and employ my Mavericks, my GBUs, whatever I want to employ basically. So that's him sending me information. Anything else you want to talk about about you sending me information, Sly? So just to confirm that um, after we've done that process that we're both looking at the same target, what we can do is on our uh, TGP, if we press the top left hand OSB, which is uh, control or CN. Yes. Uh, so on the right hand side, we should see LL. If we change that to MRG. M MGRS, sorry. Yeah, that's the type of coordinates. Yep. And if we hit RTN, return top left hand corner. Return. And you should be. Uh, then we can give each other the five, di the last five digits of the uh, UTM coordinates. Well, so you, if uh, you, you read it out, then. Yeah. So I'm looking at target three six zero three four. I've got three six zero three one. It's 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 a tiny fraction out, but yeah, I'm on the same spot basically. If um yeah, because these targets are so close together, um, it's probably going to be a tiny little bit out. But yeah. when you're in the field, targets probably aren't going to be that close together. Okay, I'm back in a fresh A10, and we're now going to reverse that. I'm going to designate a speed, and I'm going to broadcast it so that Sly can pick it up. I'm just going to find my target. It is... Where the hell has it gone? There it is. It's over there at 11 o'clock. So, we're going to go TGP, air to ground, which is that one. Coolly right long to change it to soy. It's now soy. You can see the square around it. We're now going to maneuver the diamond in our HUD on to the target roughly and press T M us up once it's roughly in position. Stand by. Oh, I'm not really good at this as it happens. Ping. Okay. We are now going to use our HOTAS slew to slew a little. In fact, we're going to zoom in with DMS forward. We're now going to use our HOTAS slew horizontal and vertical to choose a vehicle and we'll just get an area terrain point. Just stand by slide. Just, okay, I think I've got it. I'm now going to create my own speed with TMS forward long. So holding TMS, and that should have done it. I'm going to confirm. I've got my speed created by back to here, the TAD. I'm going to make TAD center of interest, uh, center of interest with the green square around it. I'm now going to zoom out with DMS down, and you can see I've created that speed there. With, which is my wedding cake. I'm now going to broadcast to Sly. We can see that the SPI is currently not being broadcast. It's off. I'm going to press and hold DMS left to turn it on. You can see it's now on. It's now being broadcast to Sly. Sly, confirm you can pick up my SPI. Hey, fam. When you let, let me know when you picked it up so I can so, undo it. SPI is uh, hooked and SPI and I've set my SPI to uh, sorry, I've set your SPI to my SPI so you can broadcast so I'm going to unbroadcast with DMS left hold and now I'm going to get rid of my speed because I don't need it anymore. I'll pass my information on. TMS down hold long. My wedding case disappeared. I've got rid of my speed there. Okay and now we just want to compare information to make sure I've sent them through the right coordinates. Cooley right switch has allowed this to be the center of interest. I'm now going to click on control. I'm going to do latitude to MGRS. Turn. Please, um, what was your uh, last number? 35995. Yep, 35996 or 7, it's just changed a bit. So, yep, yeah, basically a couple of feet out, but we've got the same point. So, that was showing it for me, sending Sly and anyone in my group target and information, and he can go and prosecute now if he wants. Anything you want to add to saddle Sly? Negative. I hope that helps, and see you later.